I'll start off by saying I'm a very... This is gonna, wait, is this gonna make me cry? Do I need a box of Kleenex? Your Mother's Day gift to me a few years ago was one of the most thoughtful presents I've ever gotten. You named it the Memory Jar and filled it with handwritten fragments of mother-daughter memories. Not only have I learned from her how to be fearless and channel my creativity, she has also taught me how to use my strictly business mindset to my advantage. By the time I was 10, my best friend and I had started our own mini nail salon. While the other kids had to beg their babysitters for money, we could afford our own SpongeBob ice cream on the daily. Hashtag ballers. <laughs> you told me anytime I'm sad or miss you, I can pull the memory jar out of my drawer and think about crazy lightning storms from the windows of airplanes or chatting it up with Q-tip. <laughs> When she was selling a piece of real estate, the guy took one look at the two of us in floral spring dresses and braids and had already begun mansplaining which walls needed to come down and pointing out tiles that needed replacing. My mom pleasantly explained that she had managed tons of construction jobs and knew exactly what needed to be done already. It's moments like these that, by example, my mom taught me entrepreneurial life skills and how to, as she always tells me, Never take no for an answer. The part that really shook me up is that you were paying attention. You saw us as two besties experiencing the world together. No matter what the memory you dare me to recollect, I'll be thinking about you and the child you were that day, cutting up a page of loose leaf paper with your little fingers, making something special for your mom. P.S. I hope you keep adding to it like you secretly have been. <laughs> I know you've been adding to it because there's new oh ones. Oh my God. <laughs> I love you, Mommy. Happy Mother's Day.